Hello, I'm Skeleton. I've hit Radiant countless times on multiple agents, and I've also peaked rank one on Europe. I am an experienced coach and player, and I'm basically just here to help you learn everything you need to know about Valorant. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm probably going to do a general sky guide, but for now I'm just going to be talking about sky on bind, right? Like, we're not going to be going over, like, little mechanical things you can do on sky and stuff like that. We're going to just really be talking about how you want to play sky on bind. Now, obviously sky has been nerfed, um, and it's a very big nerf, but I still think she's going to be playable on this map. I think a lot of people are still going to be picking her, just due to her util in general. And the way that bind is played, like, you don't really need a recon, you don't really, like, you know, KO doesn't really work that well. It's just, it just suits Sky this map, you know, whether she has the w biggest nerfs of all time, like right now, um, I still think she's strong on this map. Now, when looking at how you want to play Sky, we're going to start on defense, and we're going to go to attack. What made Sky so strong is that, you know, not only... Is she a bit of a mixture of a recon, a flasher, but she you can also play her like a duelist, right? And that's why she's so popular. Because, you know, this flash opens up, like, a lot in terms of how you can play Sky. You can play it super aggressive, you can play it for info, um, you can support your teammates, you can do a lot, right? And you can put this flash basically anywhere you want. It's, it's not like a KO flash uh, or something like this, or, you know, a Rainer flash, like, you can curve it you can send it in deep um yeah no innuendo meant there but <laughs> yeah there's a lot you can do so anyway looking at sky on defense realistically you want to be playing her towards b in most rounds and the reason why is because um b long's uh, a very important part of the map Okay, if you give them B long, you know, they can split B, right? Hooker's a bit harder to fight for the defenders in terms of, like, this space, but long's probably more defender-sided um, if you're playing with a Sky and, you know, a, a duelist or a, you know, a chamber or something like this. I wouldn't say easier to hold, but it's easier to contest. Now, on Sky, obviously, the, the basic flush that you can do is, you, you know, a lot of people do this, they just, they just throw in the flush down here. If the, if the flush pops, you know there's a guy lurking, right? You know there's, they're outside B. Um, this is like a pretty standard flash that like a lot of people do and it's a good flash you know usually what I'll do is I'll just hold it for like a few seconds so I might just wait like four or five seconds and I'll be like right okay. you know especially if the enemies are playing kind of slow you know and then, then you pop the flash um, and you want to just make sure you curve in the flash on the corner and um, just just like you know if you have a, if you have a teammate with you then um, you know it's not gonna blind the teammate if he's holding with the north or something like this um, and another reason why Sky is super strong, and I do this a lot with my duo, my duo plays a lot of Sky, um, and I play a lot of Chamber on this map. You know, if I'm playing Chamber and I'm on showers, yeah. Sky yeah. can flash for me, right, and support me. So, like, I, I can be peeking yeah. showers, and the Sky can just, you know, throw a flash through, um, pop the flash, and yeah. it's gonna just blind absolutely everyone, and then I peek off that flash. This is how you want to be playing Sky, and you, you know, you want to be supporting your teammates, you want to be active on the map, and the good thing about bind is because of these teleporters you can do that right you can be you you could i can be yeah. on this side of the map and support a player on this side of the map and, and it's the same thing you know maybe maybe you flash deep here you're like right okay you don't see anyone um and you don't go for your teammate on showers you know that that type of stuff is what makes sky insane on this map Obviously, you can even do stuff, you know, if maybe you want to get aggressive, you might have a jet with knives or something like this. Um, you know, start of the round, you flush down here, and then you do another one. Um, and, you, and you just fight with a jet. And now you have the full B space. On hooker, what you can do is there's a flash where you can just throw it over like that, right? And this flash is so hard to dodge. And what you want to tell your teammate or your duo is, when this pops, you peek, right? And you just throw it out over the top, and it's just a one-way flash, right? And the second, if, if the flash pops, um, they peek, you know, and everyone is blind. <laughs> like, it's an insane flash. And I mean, I get a lot of kills when my duo does this. So, you know, I'm just going off what my duo does right now. <laughs> like, I don't actually play loads and loads of Sky. Um, and yeah, this flash is insane. Obviously the long flashes are good, you know, you can even just like, you know, throw a flash out here like that and peek. 
And yeah, you know, you want to be proactive on Sky, you want to be pretty aggressive, and you want to be just pushing for info and pushing for picks. And um, you, know, you need to talk to your teammates when, when you're playing any initiator, but especially a flash initiator. You, know, you want to be making sure you're coming and just trying to support your teammates. You know, there's so many Sky players that just don't say anything. You know, they'll throw a flash like this, they might blind their teammate on bench, blind the guy on lamps kill one and then get two of the teammates killed that type of shit you know and it's it's so frustrating when you talk when you're playing with a sky that doesn't come so you, you know you want to be coming on sky and um you know when looking at a uh some of the some a lot of flashes that that we like to do is you know you could just throw a flash like this right and imagine he throws this flash i'm peeking showers and the flash is popping here right so i'm peeking out showers the flash pops here and uh you know i have a free fight basically if this flash doesn't get anyone you know think about how deep this flash is actually clearing it's clearing all this space so if this flash doesn't get anyone i usually will just push the only place someone can be is here you know i'll hear them if they run here insta so it's only the only place anyone can be is here you know so i can just push take the space uh, flank and you've just taken a massive part of the map off one flash um, and on short like on eco round this this flash is broken like it is so broken and I see no one else do it so you just throw your flash like that and you pop it like here so it pops like here in this area and it's blinding yeah. this guy it's blinding yeah. the guys on short and it's such an aggressive and fast flash like that you know and you can just peek you know maybe kill two I've seen him get an ace with a sheriff, right? Just, just off his flash. Like he, he literally just threw the flash, it popped here. Um, you know, he killed the guy here, killed the guy here, like this. And it, and it was just he just killed everyone. And I was like, what? This flash is is really good. And, and if they have a sky dog, what you have to think is this is gonna blind the dog. So you, you throw that, it blinds the dog, and you can just fight all these guys for free. You know, you got an easy two kills doing this. Um, and then again, if you're playing around here, you know it is clear. Maybe you just throw like a deep, a deep flash. Like, right, okay, it is clear. Um, you can just dog your teammate through hookah. If you know it is clear, they're probably walking up B shot. Right. Uh, dog through hookah. Hit, hit a guy. Let's see you hit this guy. Um, and your teammate can just insta TP through. It's a free kill. It's concourse. Um, you know, setting up these cheesy little plays, doing weird stuff is is what you want to be doing especially in ranked like these these things work half the people aren't talking the other half are tilted um and they're not gonna if you're just some little psychopath sky running it down fighting everyone you know supporting your teammates and coming like you're already better than 99 percent of the people that are locking in sky um so yeah that, that's like on defense that's really what you want to be doing you want to be proactive um, you want to be rotating around a little bit. You do want to be leaning heavier towards B just because she's so strong in on long um, and the information you can get is you know invaluable and there's no one else that can get that info you know on your team. So yeah leaning towards B but you can swap and play A. You know you can get aggressive on short, you can get aggressive on showers. Um, you know getting this deep info is invaluable. Um, just like bopping around really you just need to bop around you know say if you're playing b and you're retaking a just make sure you're, you're bogging um you know, bogging lamps um and you know just practice just practice your pot flashes you know if you're in the smoke just and uh yeah that that's that's really it for sky on defense that's one of the things that made sky strong is that you don't need lineups you don't need any of this it's just a you just go 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 you know when you're watching some of the best sky players in the world people like sabrosa um stuff like this you can see how they they play they're just playing in the moment it's just one thing after another flash push kill run away jiggle like jump around um yeah you know and, and like people say oh you can't fake flash anymore you can right like say it says there's a guy on default here you know you can you can still throw your flash like that you know fake flash um so there is still a lot of options in sky and i don't think the main the biggest nerf is the fact that you only have two flashes now so you're gonna need to be more aware of how you're using your flashes but in general she's still sky it's still sky you know they haven't changed the agent um that much um and i, I think she's still gonna be played on bind for sure on attack um it really depends with what you're doing and how your teammate wants to play you know for me you know obviously when when i'm playing 
with a sky it's usually much newer and i like to fight showers i'm a big showers fighter so you know, he'll just throw a flush like this and the flush just pops here right and by the time the flush pops you know i'm out here holding this um and yeah and if the flush doesn't pop and i know showers is, is pretty clear so i can just take the space um you know he can come with me if he wants maybe you know to take the orb um and then we've got showers control i'm sure you know you want to maybe be insta dogging um you know clearing all these close angles and then we you know obviously you can either go into sight and kind of clear top truck or you know, go into lamps depending on it really actually depends on where you raise your satchel and if you raise your satchel into lamps you want to dog lamps if your team are just hard pushing sight and you want to be trying to clear sight a little bit more and just don't be scared to go you need to go sometimes you know if, if the smoke's here you just, you just flash out and you, you're out right yeah you can't be baiting just go uh, and yeah, that that that's really it for A. You know, you want to be trying to use use your flash to clear clear some of these angles. You know, if you know this, if this flash doesn't pop right, you know this area is is pretty much clear. For for the meantime, so you can take the space. Um, same, you know, if you throw your flash out here and it's clear, you know, you don't have to like you have a smoke here, a smoke here, for example. And you flash through that flash doesn't pop you're just insta focusing on sh on lamps now you don't have to worry about anything going on on site i see so many people that they'll do their flash and their brain doesn't react to the info that they've just been given off the flash you know they're still because it's muscle memory right like um you know you're so used to maybe a player being here but if that flash doesn't pop you instantly you need to be fast when you're playing sky that's what i'm saying and you need to be reacting off the info you've been given and you need to be telling your teammate you know you throw this flash sight's clear care lumps you know that's all you have to say sight's clear care lumps and then like people's brains are gonna be like right okay care lumps and they're gonna look towards lumps um yeah and that, that's it for i'd say sky on a like i'm i can go into i can get some tips and stuff off my duo and i can go into a much more in-depth sky guide but i just really want to go over the basics and what most people should be doing on sky um, and what I wish you know my teammates would do on Sky. For B, a lot of the time when you're going B, you actually don't really want to be going hooker. Like the you know the dog is strong on hooker, but long is such a nightmare to take um, in general that you you want to be you want your Sky to be towards long. You know, with hooker you can take hooker pretty slowly you can take it with a boom bot you can take it with a cypher camera it's, it's quite an easy space to at least get info on right and work out what's going on in hooker be long on the other hand you know maybe there's a guy sitting with a flash there could be a guy in this corner maybe there's an op you know there's it's it's a hard part of the map to take so usually the best thing to do when you're on long is you'll have a brimstone that comes with you. The brimstone will stim the dog, right? So the dog's faster, it can take more space. So you'll clear this, clear long, bite anyone here. And if that's clear, you've got B. Usually there's gonna be a guy that breaks your dog, right? If the dog gets to this corner, the dog breaks. And you need a teammate that's playing anti-flush. You know, you want a teammate that's turned playing anti-flush. And you wanna be just, you know, applying pressure, maybe flush this guy. Um, you know, maybe you have your ult, you can pop your ult. Um, and you want to just be applying as much pressure as possible to take yeah. this part of the map. Now, because you only have two flashes these days, right? You want to be hanging on to one of your flashes. So it's up to you whether you want to get close and try to pop flash it, or you want to flash it from further away to try to take him off the angle. Um, it really depends on what agent you see here. If you see a Cypher here, you know, you can run up close to him and you'll be okay. If you see a Sky or a Yoru or someone with a you know Phoenix maybe or something who's got a really strong flash, you know, you want to be flashing a little bit further away just to apply the pressure, and you want to be making sure either you're playing anti-flush or one of your teammates is playing anti-flush, or or you just give them the space. That that's up to you and how you want to react. Especially if you have a heavier hooker hit, right? Maybe you've got a lot of teammates in hooker and it's just two of you on long. You want to be taking this a lot slower. If there's four of you here, you know, you can try brute force it. And then, you know, you're usually going to be smokes. You, know, you can just flash and you go, right? Like, it's it's pretty standard stuff. It, you, you just, you, uh, on Sky, when it's time to go, it's time to go. You can't be scared, you know, and you have to be very aware of where your teammates are. That's why I struggle a lot on flashes because I, 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 will I will tunnel vision quite a lot, you know, and I'm so focused on like winning these fights and stuff that I'm not really aware that, you know, maybe yeah. I've got a teammate coming out hooker and I'll, <laughs> I'll just throw a flash and blind someone. So 
you know, I'm saying this from what I wish my skies would do and what you need to be aware of as a sky player. Um, it's not for everyone, this agent, just like every agent's not for everyone. Um, but if you, if it suits your play style, maybe you're a bit quicker, duel it, like a fast duelist type of player, you know, these flasher agents are a good way to fill, you know, maybe the double duelist has been taken, you can pick a sky or a KO or something like this, and they are semi-similar on the way that you can play them, you can play them very aggressive, or you can, you know, play them like an, a traditional initiator, bop around, get info, heal your teammates, stuff like this. But yeah, that's really sky and bind, it's just the basics, like the, the basics of the basics. But yeah, um, maybe it helps some people, gave you a better idea or just helped, you know, your fundamentals uh, on how you want to be playing this agent. Because I see a lot of people, they get very lost, uh, forget what they're doing, um, or it just doesn't make sense what they're doing. You know, uh, they're playing Sky like a Sentinel, they're sitting backside, yeah. they're, you know, stuff like this. So yeah, maybe that'll help.